I have executive access to Minecraft Education Edition, which almost nobody gets to see. Of course, unless if you're in school. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Today I'm very excited to be showing off the Minecraft Education Edition. You guys know that there's Console Edition and Pocket Edition and the Java PC Edition, but Education Edition is something I've only heard about and never actually got to play. In order for this video to be done, I needed to actually contact um, my amazing contact at Microsoft and have them gift me this because I literally basically couldn't buy it because I'm not a teacher, but I do get to show you some of the features that are built in because Microsoft and Mojang is so absolutely amazing. Now, before we jump in, who would use this edition of Minecraft? Well, obviously, educators. And one of the big features of Education Edition is something that's not even shown off in the Minecraft version itself. That is being able to get everybody in the classroom an, an account, which is, as you could imagine, a uh, administrative uh, problem. So one big thing about uh, Education Edition is that it gives administrators the tools in order to give everybody a login and the teacher a login. And so getting everybody Everybody online is one of the main thing that it tackles, and that's kind of hard to show in video, so we're just going to mention it now. Now, let's actually jump in to Minecraft Education Edition. So here we are inside of Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, big thanks to uh, some of the people um, at Mojang uh, for actually getting this to me. I am Creator One which is super exciting. Uh, so first off, you can tell that there is a little bit difference uh, in the Education Edition. You don't see the button for realms and things like that. Your uh, skins are also already unlocked. You have lots of skins to choose from and you don't have to pay for them. Uh, this is very similar, of course, to the Windows 10 Edition. Well, with the Windows 10 Edition, you have to unlock the skins. You also have all of these really cool skins from some of the Minecraft story mode characters, which you may or may not recognize. Some really cool stuff. I like this uh, this guy with the Mojang t-shirt, so let's go ahead and choose him. And then when you click, click play, now if you were in a school situation, there'd probably be a land server or a world that you would choose from. You do have some options here. There are some template worlds. So there's a Mesa biome, a windmill challenge, and a tutorial world. And the tutorial world is very uh, simple tutorials. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. So I'm just gonna jump into uh, my little world just to show off some of the differences. Uh, and I've already created some uh, some little guys. We are all judging you. Well, that might not be good to do in a classroom. Um, but let me show off some of the different blocks. The first block that I have in my hand is called the border block, and here it is in the world. You can see that it is emitting particles up and down. In a normal situation, these would block players from being able to walk across them. So this is something that a teacher could put down in order to make sure to keep people corralled. I believe that because I placed these blocks, they're not affecting me. Um, but on the wiki, it says that uh, it would create invisible blocks below it so that people can't pass through. Next, you have uh, these deny and allow blocks. Um, I wasn't able to find out much information about these, but it does seem like uh, they could be used to uh, stop players or uh, allow players to do things, or maybe just either a visual representation. Uh, these blocks uh, are hard to demonstrate because right now they're just not doing anything for me. But some easy stuff to demonstrate. Let's see if we can turn the weather off. Here we go. Uh, is this camera. It's actually quite amazing. Uh, how this works is you set this camera down in the world. It looks like this. Looks kind of nice. Then all you have to do is right click on it and it will follow you wherever you walk. And then it will take a photo just as it did and then it will disappear. So this would be a great way if maybe there was a lesson plan where you had to go and find all four different types of trees. I don't know. Uh, you can click it, you can find the tree, and take a photo next to it to show your progress. And then these images are saved inside of your portfolio. 
Uh, here are the two images that I just took. You could add a caption if you wanted to, and you can also see all of the other photos that you've taken. I was doing all sorts of fun stuff uh, with the camera earlier. I think this is a fantastic uh, feature, and uh, I really, really, really enjoy it. Now you can see these NPCs right here. Uh, I've titled them in a uh, funny little way because they always seem to be staring at you no matter where you go. But they can be very, very useful and give students other forms of information. Uh, when you set one down, you can either edit one uh, after uh, you've set one down or um, uh, just as you've set it down. So you can name it anything you want. So we could name this one OMG Chad. You could say uh, hello and welcome to here. And you can also add a URL for people to learn more. So let's say that you had some sort of uh, uh, video that you wanted uh, kids to see if, uh, if they needed to. And then you can choose the skin right down here. They all are, they're all villager skins. So they're all going to look like that. Uh, but you can see that the name. And so what you might want to do, and we will actually look at a few uh, later. So this guy has the same skin, so you may want to name him OMG Chad to keep everything consistent so that these are both OMG Chad. And they may be, <laughs> get your butt out of my, get on my chalkboard, uh, pig, so that they may be consistent across the world. And I'll show you an example of what this might look like. And finally, we have some of these chalkboards, and they're quite nice. Uh, you have a small one, which takes up a single block, but you can see that uh, this, when you write on it, um, oops, I forgot my R, I'm not the best at spelling, uh, you can see that when you write on it, it shows up right here. And you can use the different sizes to accomplish different things. This is a uh, two wide, and then you have a much larger uh, two, four by two. And so you could write very detailed lesson plans. So if you had a world where people were walking through and they come across something and want to know what it is, you could have quite a lot of information placed right here. Uh, so let's go check out what something might actually look like. And we'll check out the tutorial world uh, that the uh, Minecraft people have created. So we're going to go ahead and choose this. Everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and choose play. And you can see some of the aspects that you might be using. So this world has been created just for us. Uh, we have a tour guide here. And it says, welcome to the Minecraft Education Edition. This tutorial will teach you how to use uh, and open the world. Uh, press W to move forward so you can move forward. If you were confused or wanted to talk to this tour guide, you'd right click. It says, ready to jump into Minecraft world? Well, great. Gives you a little bit of information, named tour guide, has a great skin, and you can learn more by following that link, which is kind of nice. Uh, you come up to these blocks, they tell you a little bit more, you learn how to move through. This is telling you how to jump, so you can jump. Uh, this is using WASD to move around. Uh, you can remember, you can back up to press S, this is assuming that you haven't like touched the mouse yet, so you can use S to back up. There we go, it says use your mouse to click up here. I'm, man, I'm a pro with this. Here's your tour guide again, same tour guide, giving you a little bit of different information, which is great. Come up to this, it tells you that you can break through things with your fist. You can kind of tell based off of the floor that, uh, that this is the right direction. And you move on. Uh, we're gonna kind of just zoom through this. It tells you you can place blocks down, you can jump up. And then it teaches you to break a tree in order to get some wood. It teaches you some crafting, easy, you know, normal, everyday crafting recipes. It tells you to make a pick, which we know how to do. So we're just going to go ahead and break through this wall right here. Uh, you're gathering cobblestone. So you could probably imagine that you're going to create a cobblestone pick on the other side. More information. It gives you a nice big wide gap to jump over, which I failed at. Wow. Okay, let's... Uh, we know how to do all this, so we're just going to run across, teaches you how to make some other picks, a torch, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, so you can see how using all of these can be very, very useful. Using all these tools can be very useful. It even gives you a little tutorial over here about all of the Minecraft Education Edition things as well. So you got our camera, which we can set down. Hello, here, let's, take, let's jump up. Let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. Nice. Right in the center of the frame. That's perfect. Then you have your portfolio over here. Oh, there's my one photo. Apparently those go across worlds. That's very nice. 
You have your uh, deny and think about how you can use the allow and deny blocks in your world. And of course, all of the boards. You can edit these uh, however you want. The barrier blocks that we talked about and our NPCs, which we have already met. This one was the tour guide and this was the one in the second stage. So you can see how if you are a teacher, you can use all of these tools, especially signs and uh, the, the camera and the portfolio and the NPCs, barrier blocks, all of this to create a lesson for your students uh, to achieve. And that is what Minecraft Education Edition is all about. So there you have it, an edition of Minecraft, which you will probably never play, but is certainly super duper useful and could shape the future of our world. So it's pretty absolutely cool. Big thanks, of course, to Microsoft, Mojang, and IMG, the PR company behind uh, the uh, Minecraft. Uh, that's actually how I got this version. You can tell there was a lot of work that went into getting this edition of Minecraft. And I really, really thank you guys uh, for allowing me to have an account and play along to show you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Make sure you share it on Facebook and Twitter. Leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and make sure you subscribe for future videos. See you next time on OMG Craft.